What's up guys, Sam the Raid Man, back here today with another video. I am so excited. Um, today we're gonna be introducing a new community clan boss challenge. So basically the way this works is every month I'm gonna come out with a new set of rules and requirements, like a constraint saying your team has to meet these requirements and cannot exceed them. Um, and the goal is to compete against everyone else, myself included, although I won't win any awards, but I do wanna compete because I love co competition at any level. But basically we're gonna try and compete and see who can get the highest damage while meeting those constraints. So in the past, you'll see I've done these challenges for myself, but I think it's a lot more fun to do them involving you guys and the community. So like for example, I did uh, build a clan boss team of all fusions and fragment summons. So that's like an example, um, basically saying, pick whichever ones you want, whichever ones you have on your account. You don't even have to fuse them as long as you pull them with the shards, like Tatura, Brockney, uh, Iron Brago, Krila, lots of different examples. We just had Pythion, uh, Nishak, Vermin Lord, lots of great ones. So if that was the the rules, then you would have to build a team using only those champions and we would compete for the highest score on Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. This is an Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss competition. Um, I think that's probably just, it's the highest level of Clan Boss. That's where I'm at and that's where a lot of people are at. So I think that's going to be the standard for the challenges. And every month we'll do a new challenge. Uh, when I'll be posting this on March 16th. And so... This will be just like a half a month. Typically, I'll try and post within the first week. So by like April 5th or so, I should have posted the next challenge. At the end of every month, I will spotlight the winner. I'll do a video kind of shouting them out. Um, potentially, I want to do some prizes or giveaways in the future. I don't know exactly what that'll look like. But once I figure that out, I will definitely let you guys know. Hopefully, we'll have something figured out for the April. If not April, then the May challenge. And it will run all month long. So you've got lots of time to figure it out. I don't want to mess up anything with CVC or fusions or get in anybody's way. This is supposed to be fun. Um, that being said, uh, the challenge for this month is going to be, since it is an international women's month, it is going to be all female champions, right? So when you go into the, in the index in the game, we are excluding any male champions. If there's a question, you can join my discord and ask. Typically if it's a, up in the air, I'd probably lean towards don't use them. Uh, but there's lots of great champions. I'm not going to say any specific ones. Um, at least not until the end of the video. I will show you my team at the end just so you guys can get an idea of where I'm at and how much damage I did. I'm actually really happy with the results. Um, but so, so no man eaters, no helicaths, no Draco morph. I would argue that Draco morph is, is more masculine than feminine. Um, no ninjas. I'm trying to think of other big ones. No seekers, no deacons. That's big. Um, who else are we missing? No gentoros, no anax. Anyways, lots of great champions that we're not able to use. So we're just highlighting the women this month. Ladies only. Um, ladies night out, so to speak. And I just I, I really enjoy this content. I, my passion is Clan Boss in Raid Shadow Legends. I just love the whole game and the community. You guys have been so awesome supporting me as a YouTuber. And I've really enjoyed these few months that I've been creating videos and interacting with you guys. Um, if you want to, come join my community and talk to me and get to know me. Um, also, if you want any type of account help, I'm going to be starting offering official like takeovers and uh, clan, clan re, uh, not clan, a uh, team rebuilds, so rebuilding teams for people, building teams. Um, I love doing that. I'm going to start setting that up. I'm actually getting a friend to help develop a website for me to help set that up. So that's very exciting coming in the future. But if you just have questions or like want general advice, feel free to come join my Discord. I'm going to leave that pinned in the description below. We've got a very great community. We're building there. It's starting off small. We're getting bigger. And I'm really excited just to meet you guys and get to know y'all and help y'all. So the challenge for this month is women only. If you have any questions about that or don't quite understand the rules, then um, just let me know. And I'm happy to figure that out for you guys and help you figure it out. But let me go ahead and show you some of the champions that I used. And then we will go. Um, I'll show you the results of my team. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you the champions. Uh, I wanted to go with some different ones, kind of more interesting ones. And one of my favorite champions that does not get enough love is none other than Spirit Affinity, hiding down here, Franox. Franox is unbelievable. One of the first videos I ever did on YouTube was about her. She's definitely a woman. She's got the curves. I don't know if this is hair, but it's a headdress, probably covering some hair. She's got some earrings in there, 100% female. You guys are allowed to use Frenox if you want her. Decreased attack on the A1. She hits pretty hard. This one, let's go this one here. Attacks on enemy three times. Each hit is a 50% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. Places block buffs if they have no buffs after this attack. So you build her with accuracy, she can steal the increased attack from the clan boss and then place block buffs. 
And block buffs is big, or stealing buffs is big, because this one, Tender Mercies, three turn cooldown, attacks one enemy, inflicts 100% more damage against targets without any buffs. Ignore the 100% damage. It's a 4.6 multiplier, which is super hard. When it inflicts 100% more damage, it is a 9.2 multiplier, which puts it as top three, top five hardest single target hitting abilities in the entire game. She is unbelievable. I want to build her out in a specific comp with decrease defense and weekend, increase attack and everything. Try and see if how close we can, how high we can get it. Um, it hits so hard. The other ones hit pretty hard too. She does a ton of damage. She doesn't bring anything else, but the comp I used allowed me to have three DPS champions. So I had to bring in Franox. Definitely one of the strongest, hardest hitting women in the game. Now, next up is again, one of my favorites. Uh, I did a video testing her damage out and she surprised me. She ranked really, really highly and I don't think she gets enough love either. And that is Swirin, which I think is how you say that name. Um, she's got this cool little mask on or face paint on. I think it is face paint. She's got her two little um, curved daggers, super intricate, like samurai type armor. She's got these cool little blade things on her shoulders. She got two little more swords back here, fighting in the high heels. She is femme fatale for sure. So A1, 40%, each hit 40% chance of placing poison, pretty solid. A2, each hit is a 60% chance. Books do 70% chance of placing weaken. This is pretty much guaranteed, especially on a good affinity. And this one is AOE decreased defense. Only an 80% chance, but with sniper, you can get that to 85. Um, so she's really good. She does she hits pretty hard. Decreased defense, weaken, and poison is a great kit. If that decreased defense was 100 percent I think she would be. I mean, I think she she outdamaged Fane for me. She out damaged Fane, and Fane had Phantom Touch when I did the damage test. If you guys haven't seen that, go back. I'll see if I can pin that video, but it's the uh, clan boss, all clan boss damage dealers tested, basically. It's tested like 22 different ones. Swearin was one of the highest epics up there, and she out damaged Fane, which I thought was pretty spectacular. So that's our decreased defense and weaken. And then we had one who was a cleanser and also a damage dealer, and that was one of my favorites, to Hana Rock. She was also our accuracy aura, so we could lower the accuracy on the rest of our champions, like Swearin. A1 hits pretty hard, places continuous heal, also does decrease speed, which does not work on the clan boss. And then right here, she does attacks one enemy, has a 100% chance when booked of placing decrease attack and block buffs. Now, the reason I like this is because if we place block buffs, the clan boss does not get his increased attack buff, which means we don't need to build the accuracy on Franox so she can we can build her to nuke even harder. And then she's got this great speed and increased defense. We actually turned this off. We didn't even need it at all. And then her passive is why she's a, uh, good at keeping affinity friendly. She's basically Doom Priest on steroids. She removes one random debuff from all allies at the start of each turn. And if someone has continuous heal, she actually removes two debuffs. She's great. She's great for Hydra. But she's great at clan boss. If any time you see a comp that asks for Doom Priest, two Hunter Rock is just better. So that was our three damage dealers. And then... I don't know if you guys can guess now. We have a woman, and we have two that make the team. So I don't know if you want to guess it. But champion number one is Demitha. I think she's the best unkillable war block damage in the game. She's unbelievable. She enables some of the highest and easiest clan boss compositions in the game. A1 does shield. A2 decreases increases the duration of all ally buffs, then decreases the duration of all ally debuffs, plus a heal. It's actually a pretty big heal. But this is what it's all about. Three turn cooldown places block damage buff on all allies for one turn and a 15% continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. We book this down to a three turn cooldown. Basically, you know, like the Myth Fu or the Myth Air, those teams just get you running on a 3 1. So she places this at the end of every single turn. And she's the only unkillable person you need on your team. So what I actually did was I ran two of them. I ran the double Demitha team, which if I can remember, I will pin uh, the link to Deadwood Jedi's calculator and his website for that. And I used two Hunter Rock to keep us affinity friendly and cleanse the stun. And then I used the three DPS and the Demitha is going um, every other turn alternating which one is going to place the block debuff. So they're going on a 3-2 ratio. So drum roll. If you guys want to see my final results, 41.51 million. Solid two key. I'm really happy with that because everyone else is going one to one. They're at like 162 speed. They're very, very slow. So damage, this Demitha did 5.5. This Demitha did 2.2 because I had her in my Iron Twins team and I forgot to put Warmaster on her. 
So that was stupid. That's a million or two damage right there, but that's okay. Juhanarak 9.6. She's a defensive based champion, and uh, I think that's pretty good. No poisons or anything like that. No HP burn. That's just raw damage. Swearin, the 10.3. I have a three star awakening on her with Phantom Touch. So 40% chance of uh, increasing their, in, inflicting that extra damage, plus the poisons. She's doing the decreased defense in weekend. She is awesome. And then the queen here, Franox. This is why she's in here, guys. Two star Phantom Touch. Uh, also, this Demith in the middle has got our two star cruelty, which helps everybody. But this Franox, two star Phantom Touch. 13.8 million, which doesn't sound like a ton when you look at the ones that are one keying, but that's on a one to one. That means she went 50 times and she did 13.8 million in raw damage. Like that's not poisons. There's no activations or anything funky going on. She's not in toxic set. That's just smacks. She had 13.8 million damage. Lots of ones like 300, 350 thousand damage on the tender mercies and it can hit even harder. So I was pretty happy with this team. I think it's beatable. I think there are some big brains out there. I think some of you guys have what it takes to beat this team. But I was really happy with this. Um, so anyways, basically, I want to show you guys how you submit um, your results. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to join my Discord. Again, the link will be in the description below. But you're going to come over here to the Sam the Raidman server. And then you're going to go down. You can join any of these and talk. This is my YouTube announcement, which shows when I post new videos. And then there's the general chat, which is just talking about, so this is a comment from my previous videos that I've posted. The general chat, we just sit here and have conversations. But what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to March CB Challenge, and you're going to post, and you're going to post your score. You're going to click Upload a File, and just post a picture, and see the results. And if there's any questions about, you know, do you use this champion? I need to see basically that same page that I just showed y'all. I need to see Demon Lord, Ultra Nightmare, and then I need to see your five champions and all the damage that they did. You submit that, you are entered in the contest, and I will, like I said, I'll do a summary summary video at the end of the month showing everyone's runs, or not everyone's runs, everyone's teams, and potentially I'd like to talk more about the people who win and just see what kind of teams they did and what their thoughts were. So that's it. That's going to be the March challenge. Uh, I look forward to seeing the results from you guys, and I will post about the summary at the end of the month and i'll do the april one at the beginning of april so anyways thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoy this content please leave a subscribe and everyone please go join my discord and i will see you guys on the next video